Hi everyone, Christina here. Um, today I am finally doing the long-awaited craft room tour. So I'm going to start here right at the door as I walk into my craft room, just like I did with my previous craft room tour, and I'll link that up in the top corner if you wanna check that out. Be before I redid my craft room about six months ago, this was a regular guest bedroom in my home that I turned into a craft room by bringing in some desks and other like shelving units, things like that. I brought it all in, it was kind of a hodgepodge of furniture. But now I have a built-in craft room. It was fantastic. Um, it's, so, it's so great to have a finished craft room that's meant for crafting and creating. So I absolutely love it. This is my job, my full-time job. So um, I really built this craft room for all the different things that I do. And it was probably a three month process finishing the craft room from beginning to end. And I had a lot of help from Michelle. She is an interior designer and she actually worked on Jennifer McGuire's craft room. And I got in contact with her and we worked over email and over the phone. And she really helped me a lot by designing the kind of the floor plan of my new room and also ordering cabinets and working in some Ikea cabinets into the whole process to make it a little bit more um, manageable as far as the budget goes. So I'm gonna start by walking into my craft room. And the first thing I did was I replaced the flooring. I had carpet in here previous and now I'm using this luxury vinyl flooring from Mannington. This is in the design Sundance and the color smoke. And I will link to that in the blog post. In fact, a lot of the items that I mentioned today will be linked in the blog post as opposed to at the YouTube description because it'll be a little bit too lengthy and long for YouTube. So if you are looking for links and specifics about some of the things that you're going to see, please head over to my blog post because everything will be linked over there. So I'm starting out um, coming into my computer station right here. And um, I have an iMac. This is one of the new 5K iMacs that came out in 2016. And I have a 27 inch display right next to it. Beneath the display is actually a Wacom or Wacom, I'm not sure how to say it, Cintiq. That is a, it's almost like an iPad, but it's hooked up to my computer and it becomes like a third display and I can design on it. So I use that for stamp designing and different things like that. And I really love it. Um, right above my work area here, I've got a few pieces of art. Um, I have this really large K. This is one that I had in my old craft room and I just had it repainted. It got a little scuffed up with moving and things like that. So I just had repainted it or actually my contractor did, and he also put some hooks on the back so it was easier to hang on the wall. Um, in my previous craft room tour, I showed you guys that I had to use nails to put it up. It was totally DIY, just what I could get to work. And now I have a really nice, um, some hooks on the back that make it really nice. So over here, I'm gonna close these blinds really fast because I'm getting a glare. I close these blinds, so the lighting's gonna change a little, but here we go. Okay, so these pictures on the wall are letterpress prints from Jessica Hish. She's a fantastic graphic designer and lettering designer, and she's just fantastic. And I love her quote up here on the side that says, the work you do while you procrastinate is probably the work you should be doing for the rest of your life. I think that's completely true. And that's sort of what's happened with me with my full-time job. Like what I just did as a hobby became my full-time job and it's fun because it doesn't make it seem like work. So I have some other prints, a K and a W from her and also her Alpha Birds. Those are from a couple years ago. And then I've got three photos of Manny. It's my kitty who died about a year and a half ago. Um, love him so much. So I had to include him in my craft room. And coming past over here as we enter the room, there's another picture of Manny peeking through right there. So as far as lighting goes, you know, say I have three light switches. That's because I have many lights in my craft room. So I'm going to spin up here and you can see all the light, different light fixtures. I've got three cam lights. There's one right back here too. <laughs> got three cam lights going down the side. And then I have more going along by the window. And then even more as I go back to the back section of my craft room. And then as 
an overhead light as well. So there's lots and lots of lights. That is all I use for filming my videos. Um, I just use those lights, so it's fantastic. And as far as making sure I get the lighting right in my videos, I have these blinds. These are blackout blinds from Hunter Douglas, and they are fantastic. I love them so much. They block out all the daylight. Um, and it's really fantastic because when you're filming videos, you want to have a really like stable light source and you don't want it to be changing with clouds and things like that. So having these blinds has been really beneficial. Okay, so next to my computer station, I have two IKEA Razcog carts have my all of my different coloring mediums in there and I have these Riesenthal fabric let's see cuffed fabric bins from the container store and these are fantastic they fit inside those carts really perfectly so I got all my kind of coloring mediums in there including my Copics and then right here I have drawers the bottom drawer is a file cabinet and then these two top drawers I have various office supply items pens, highlighters, post-its, things like that. Coming over here to the other side of my workstation, this countertop is elevated a little bit higher than the regular desktop. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to take advantage of the space underneath right in here. I wanted to store large watercolor sheets or wrapping paper sheets. That's what I use as like my pattern paper backdrop for my photos. I wanted a space to store those. So normally I do not have boxes hanging out right there. Normally that's just completely open and I'm able to slide those water uh, color sheets or the uh, gift wrap sheets in and out of that storage space very easily. So that's why that's a little bit higher. I was concerned since I'm sitting here at my desk most of the time that I might hit this corner, but you know what? It hasn't been a problem. Um, I mentioned that to Michelle when we decided to elevate that work surface there and, she, and I said you know what is that gonna be a problem sitting at this tight corner and she said no don't worry about it I think you'll be fine and you know what she was right <laughs> so it's just one of those things that's uh, one of the reasons why it's beneficial to have someone who does this as their job um, to help you because I might have sacrificed all of that storage space um, for fear of it being a little bit inconvenient, you know, that my shoulder or my arm would hit that, but you know, it hasn't been a problem. So there's that large space right there. In this top drawer right here, I have a bunch of post-its. I'm not going to pull out all my drawers in this craft room drawer, but I'll just pull out this one because it's nice and organized. So many post-its. It's a really deep drawer too. And I've got some fun things in here, some clips that some of you guys have sent me. That I'm storing to use and I've got a little poly bag with cat little posts that you guys have sent love those so much thank you guys for sending them and then soft clothes drawers I think it's fantastic it's so nice because there's no big banging noises so underneath is my printer and it's actually on a rolling out cart I need to pull it out so I can use the scanner on top but for the most part I just leave that in there all the time and right above it, I have paper storage. And all, that, all of that up there is pretty much like my pre-cut papers and regular inkjet paper. Okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna talk about the under the desk storage here, or just so you guys can see it, because it was something I really wanted to make sure was built in. I have a shelf um, right by some power outlets and I have my external hard drive as well as my backup battery for my computer right sitting right there so can me either up off the floor my hard drive can be a little bit no noisy so I wanted to have it beneath the desk area so that when I'm doing voiceovers you won't hear it so this has been really great and if you don't have a backup battery for your desktop computer I highly highly recommend it it's come in handy so many times um, when there's a storm and the power goes out I have about 10 minutes before my computer completely shuts off. So it's been really great and you know the power goes out and it starts beeping, it wakes me up in the middle of the night and I come, out, come to my office quickly and shut everything down so I don't lose any files. So it's really fantastic. And I also want to mention that that weird foam thing right there in the corner, it's actually for dampening sound and that's what I use when I do my voiceovers because 
this room has quite a bit of an echo to it since I replaced the flooring. So it's been really great to have that. And I'll link that um, to Amazon as well. That's where I bought it. That's a paper shredder over in the corner. That's been really great too. And I'm going to move on. Okay, in this corner, this, this is where I have all of my inks and watercolors stored. These are on little storage units from Stampin' Storage. And I will link to the specific pieces that I have, as well as include photos. And I'll include photos at my blog as well, so you can see them. But I've got my Distress ink storage. I've got all my ink pads. Up above, I have... These are basically Dr. Peach Martin's entire line of watercolors and acrylic liquid colors and um, calligraphy inks and um, Bombay inks. Um, they're fantastic. They were so generous and sent me some products. They said, hey, would you like to try some products? And I'm all, sure, why not? I already have a bunch. And then they proceeded to send me practically everything. So they were so, so generous to do that. And I've been kind of working my way through and getting to know the products. So it's been really wonderful to do that. Got two pictures up there of Daphne and Sophie. There's Daphne. There's cute little Sophie. Um, I've got some additional storage right there. It's kind of a mishmash of things right now, but that's kind of how I work. Um, some ink pads that need to be put into storage, um, into their actual permanent space. I also wanted to mention that as far as the ink pads go, this is how I have them. It has labels on all four sides with a swatch of the color. And then if I ever change how I store my ink pads and I turn them on their side, then they'll already be labeled. So underneath this area, and I've got my chair that'll roll out here, I have a striped bin, little fabric bin, where I keep, um, it's mostly like nail polish stuff that I use most often. So I have a little bin down there. Um, big huge craft mat up here. I've got my laptop on top of it right now at the moment. And I'll just roll this back in. That white clampy thing, that's what I use to clamp onto a shelf and then put my phone on the other end for live streaming. And this clamp right here that's on the edge of the desk, that is to, that's like the bottom piece of an Ikea lamp. I just don't have it set up because um, it's a little bit in the way when it's in there. So I just put that away and then when I need more light, I'll pull it out and I can just slide it right into that clamp and it holds great. These four drawers are storing pens and calligraphy supplies. So in this drawer, I've got just random markers, um, fountain ink cartridges, nibs and pen holders, things like that. I found these different dividers at the container store as well as these dividers down here. This little tray with the dividers in it, that's in the container store. And all of these drawers are very shallow, so they're perfect for pen storage. Okay, so right next to my corner area, so we're panning over, these two closets or cabinets contain and store my stamps and dies and stencils. So in here are my stamps. This is a method of storage that's directly taken from Jennifer McGuire's craft room. Michelle really helped me with this, making sure I got everything ordered correctly. Um, basically these are pull-out drawers and they're the soft close as well. Got my stamp storage pockets with these dividers that are made out of a plastic folder. I've used my label maker to label those. And then I've got some the Greeting Farm stamps down the center because that was the perfect gap for them. So I've got four drawers, four pullouts for that. And I've got all my stamps in there, except for some stamps that I'm working on up here. And there's my box with things to do. <laughs> um, over in this cabinet, I have my dies. So all of my dies are stored. I've got some gorgeous stamps down the middle that I'm storing there. I've also got embossing folders and um, background stamps as well as, I have this like weird space right here and you know what, it was perfect for storing um, those big mama rolls of 3M foam tape. Okay, next to that is two 
tall Alex drawer units that are built into the cabinets. Those are from Ikea. And I've used my label maker to label what's inside of them. So it's really easy to find. This little closet here at the end, this stores all of my nail polish randomness, including my favorite Remove Plus remover from Zoya. I buy the big bottles. Right above that cabinet um, are all my nail polishes, and they are stored in color clutch boxes. The purple and blue boxes, I don't believe they're being sold anymore, but these white and black boxes you can find at the container store. So let me just pull one out for you. You can slip all of your nail polishes inside, and it stores them. And I'll have those linked in my blog post if you guys want to check those out. Um, isn't that little cup so cute. Jennifer McGuire sent me that for my birthday. It's adorable. Um, I have a mini split air conditioner up here because my craft room gets really, really hot. It's in the farthest area from the furnace or from the AC unit. So that's been really helpful at putting in last summer. Um, I've got some just random things stored here at the end of these cabinets. Um, these right here are gorgeous stamps, storage cases. Um, I mentioned on a crafty chat video that I was looking for the Ruby mini stamp, which is only sold with the case. And you guys were so generous and uh, two of you sent me a case and then I bought one myself. And um, I was just so surprised <laughs> you guys sent those to me. I'm so grateful. So I'm going to be giving the two that were sent to me away because they're extras. So um, watch out for that in the future for a giveaway. And as um, some a really nice reader, Karina and her, I think it's her husband, Roger, they sent me a bunch of the mini stamps, all of them. They sent them as an advent for Christmas. So I've been opening them each day and getting another stamp. So it's been so fun. And so all of the stamps that I had previously bought, I'll be giving away. So watch for that. Got some finished cards. I've also got some mail call cards right here that I need to send off. Um, and then all of this in the back corner, that's all product I'm going to give away. In this cabinet is storage for like photography equipment, just random stuff. Um, as well as I've got a board here that I bring out for photography. Um, this is a padded floor mat that I use when I'm going to be standing at my workstation for a long period of time. And then I also have this stool here that is a standing stool. So you kind of stand and lean against it on the seats and kind of swivels and pivots. Um, it's a little different. I, I'm getting used to it. I've had it for a few few months, but it's been really nice actually. Got my trash can, really tall because lots of trash. And then I have my Tim Holtz stencils on a ring. And then I put command hooks and hung those up. This right here, these are actually cards for white balancing my camcorder before I start filming. Got some ink swatches down, that, down there as well. All right, so here is my work surface where I'm working on projects. So the first thing I wanna point out is, are these two units right here. These are, um, what are they called? Boone Stash Organizers. You can get them from Amazon. And I used to have one and realized I was using so much of it and it was getting crowded. So I have a second one now and it's been fantastic to have the extra space. So I have all my most used tools right there. And it's right by my cutting mats. And under my cutting mat, I have a non-slip non grippy thing, like shelf liner, so it doesn't move around. And over here, I have that, it's a Calyx unit from Ikea. And then I have the counters coming out from it. Comes out and then at the end it has drawer units. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually two of those Alex drawer units back to back. And that come that makes the legs on the end of the peninsula. So underneath I've got lots of storage. Got some striped fabric bins. Um, you can get some at the, at the container store, but I got these from Amazon. Um, they were a little more convenient because I shipped them for free on Prime. And I have my most used, like, not just tools, but other things in these drawers. So this top drawer right here, I've got my acrylic blocks, my craft sheets, 
corner chomper, I've got some um, alcohol wipes to clean off her curl flocks, post-it tape, things like that. Next drawer down are brushes. And I've got lots and lots of brushes. So I love those. Um, down here, I've got labeled tube watercolors and masking fluid. So it's just all my tube watercolors that are in palettes. And then down here, I've got regular palettes and peerless and watercolor markers. So there we go. And then that last drawer has tapes, sponge brushes, and miscellaneous. The space right underneath my work surface, I've got special papers over here like vellum and foam, fun foam and acetate, things like that. Got baby wipes and hardboards, grid paper, um, mini scoring board. Got my paper trimmer. And then I also have a roll of foam tape and coffee filters. And then up here, right next to my work surface, I have my camcorder remotes, my heat tool, and then my remote to my AC unit. The bottom shelf over here, I've got my Tim Holtz Distress Ink Tins, um, as well as a palette, and I've got extra batteries for my mic for my camcorder. Right above that, in this Kalex unit, I have an insert from Stampin' Storage. It's an ink pad insert. I've got my most used ink pads. Next to that are papers that I use all the time. And this is, once again, another insert from Stampin' Storage. And I've got, like, Desert, Desert Storm cardstock, Nina Solar White, um, just a bunch of stuff that I use really often. And then right above that, I have this individual sheets of paper towels. I love that for watercolor. And then I've got my three most used or four most used containers of embossing powder. I've got pre-cut sheets of paper right here. Some little random things, some watercolor paper. Back here I've got my white or my mic that I wear when I'm going to be talking on camera and I've got that cute K that a reader sent or a subscriber sent. With Manny and me on it. Above this area I have a United States map that I designed for Basic Gray a few years ago. Unfortunately it's not available anymore. Uh, Basic Gray closed down this year and um, they're focusing on their new business called Modify Ink. I think they have the same design and they're using it in Modify Ink. If they are I will try to link to it in the blog post. And then down there I have more paper storage and it's kind of a rainbow of paper storage. I'm going to walk around so you can see how I have these stored. I have these heavy duty plastic slip pockets and I've labeled them with the color, name, and brand. And so I can just slide these in and out whenever I need a specific color. And it also makes it so I can put scraps of that cardstock in the pocket as well. I've got my planners and albums down this one side. I have these um, pl clear plastic drawer units that I don't really have a whole lot stored in them right now. They're labels as if I were storing my pens, but obviously my pens are over in <laughs> all those drawers, so I don't need those anymore. So I've just been kind of like, these have been a catch-all for things. Um, this is a bag of candy that Karina and, her and Roger sent to me, all European candy. It's going to take me a while to get through all that, but I'm excited to try them all. They're so yummy. Okay, so the last thing that I think I'm going to cover is my camera setup. Let me see if I can get this so you can see it really well. Okay, so this is actually three pieces of equipment that I bought on Amazon. You can get them at your photo supply store too. So I've got my camcorder right here, right? I'll come around this way so you can see it better. There we go. Okay, camcorder. Then it's attached to a ball head mount which is on an arm. Those two long, two long things there that kind of have an elbow. It's an, uh, an arm from Manfredo. Then there's an adapter and then the base plate that is hooked into the ceiling. So I'll link all of those pieces in the blog post if you're curious about those items. Um, it's really sturdy. It holds like, I think something like 15 pounds, like the base plate holds 15 pounds. The camera is like barely even, even a five, I think it might be less than that. And the arm is maybe three pounds. So it's definitely under the weight limit and it's been really sturdy. And the thing I like about it is that it has this knob right there on the kind of like the elbow area. 
and you loosen that knob and then all the pieces kind of move freely. So you can really move your camera around and get it in the right position. So I really, really like that. So that is basically my craft room. Um, I'm pretty sure I went through most everything, um, except for maybe these drawers. These drawers are labeled with um, random things that I'm storing. These are two Alex drawer units from Ikea and they're built into the cabinetry. So um, I just got random things in here. I love this drawer. This is probably my most favorite drawer. Sequins. Love. So sparkly. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, these um, containers for sequins, those are Craftmates lockables, and I will link to them in the blog post as well. All right, so that is my craft room. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's uh, definitely a working space. I have a lot of stuff out because I'm constantly working on things. And um, thanks so much for watching. Check out the blog post if you're wanting to know about any more of the items I've mentioned. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.